All right, man, we just finished up that last video where we compared the JBL Clip 5 to the, to the Go 4. Now we got to bring in Sony, and the Sony XB100 is going to be compared to both of these brand new JBL speakers. Wait, hold on. Before we go <clears throat> forward, in that last video, you told me you were going to give me a raise. You're, you're still going to give me a raise, right? Oh, man. Uh, about that. Uh, Wilson, um, yeah, man, I, I, a little bit, man. I, I can do I a mean, little bit. I can, I can leave. You no, know, it's no, no, it's no Wilson, problem. Come like. back, man. Come, come back, man. Come, come on back, bro. Okay. All right. Tell you what. Uh, yeah, can we can we just do the video? We can work it out after the video. Uh, fine, fine, we can do the video. All right, cool. Let, let's get on with the video, then we'll we'll sit down and talk about this. Cool. All cool? right, let's All do right. that. All right, cool. All right, so we got the Sony XB100, and then we got the JBL Clip Five and the JBL Go Four. These are brand new hotnesses from JBL, and they are going up for uh, going up head up with Sony. Now you know, check this out, man. I did bring these other ones. <clears throat> So this is the JBL Go 3 and the JBL Clip 4. Previously, the JBL Clip 4 and the JBL Go 3 were like beat up badly by, <laughs> by this Sony XB100, okay? So it was pretty embarrassing uh, for JBL. Here, this is what I'm concerned about. <clears throat> I hadn't heard like this one in a minute. And when I heard this JBL Clip, I was like, damn, it's going to be a tight competition. So I'm really excited about this. But Wilson, I want you to hear these and I want you to tell me what your initial impressions are. Now, when it comes to form factor and which speaker you buy and why you buy it, let's talk about some things, okay? So we talked about in the previous video, which one you would actually prefer over the JBL Clip 5 versus the Go 4, like between form factor, battery life and stuff like that. And then of course we had to talk about sound. So you're telling me that you prefer the form factor of the Go 4, right? Yes. All right, you don't, you ain't worried about this clip. You can get I, your own clip. Yeah, I can get my own clip. I ain't worried about that clip. All right, so when it comes to this bottle like type speaker, you know, this goes in a cup holder and this, dude, this is beyond, this is actually a combination of like the clip and the Go loop. So this thing, have you seen all this stuff this strap can do? It's such a simple strap, but it does a lot. Have you seen? I haven't seen it all. Bro, let me just let me just show you real quick. So you got this coffee mug style, right? <laughs> you know, straight up coffee mug style. You can hook it on to something if you want to. But if you need a little extra length, you can just kind of undo it just like that. And then you can bring it out, loop it just like this. Let's see here. You can loop, you have a bigger loop. Put that around a tree trunk or something, right? So it's just got like three or four different ways. It's just a little bit more versatile. Plus you get to open up the loop. You don't get to open the loop here. And then you can also clip with this. So to me, I feel like you got the best of both worlds with this extra long, simple like lanyard here. So as far as like utility, which one are you talking about you would like prefer? I think you sold me on the Sony. Okay, <laughs> cool. If I'm being honest. It's kind of the best of both worlds, right? It really is, yeah. Okay. Now, when it comes to actual form factor, this is straight up an up-firing uh, speaker. It does not lay down. It's just You set it down and let it do its thing. This one, you got forward firing and up firing. This one, you can hang and then it can up fire. So where are you going? In terms of that, <clears throat> the ghost still wins on that because you point the it go. where you want it. Okay, so you got both directions, right? Exactly. Cool. All right. What else was there? Oh, battery life. I got to look up what the Sony battery life is. So this battery life, the Clip 5 battery life is up to 12 hours. And then you got up to uh, seven hours on the Go 4. Let's look up the Sony real quick. So Sony XB100 battery life. What is it? Can't believe I forgot what it was. Man, this Google AI stuff is stupid. Oh, up to 16 hours. All right. So we got a road warrior here. So we got up to 16 hours here. So does that change anything? Uh, this one's got the least battery life. I usually carry a charger with me. I'm not usually that concerned. Oh, you wanted it. Okay. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. <laughs> okay. I'm one of them. <laughs> all right, cool. All right. This is another big factor for me. I think personally, all small speakers like this that kind of clip on your bag or something, just hanging out with you like this should have a microphone so you can take a phone call. So Sony is the only one that gives you a microphone and it's actually pretty doggone good. So does that matter to you? Uh, not really, in you, my opinion, no. You one of the people that don't talk on the phone, huh? I, I talk on the phone, but I use my phone to talk on the phone. What's wrong with you, bro? That's what's, that's what's wrong with you. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> 
<laughs> when I'm out, when I'm doing stuff, I'll be here at the studio. You ain't here. I catch a phone call. I'm like, hey, I got you on speaker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but for some people, that don't matter. So you're still rolling with the gum. I'm still rolling with the gum. All right. You can go your ass. Love me or you. hate me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So what else is next? Um, I think that's it as far as like function, right? Mm. We got form factor. We got... Um, Utility, we got battery life, and the size matter. You said you like the small. I like the smaller one, yeah. All right, now it comes the big one. You ready? Ready, sir. The sound. All right. All right, so you actually said, actually, we both agreed that we actually like the sound signature of the JBL Go 4 over the clip because the clip has a lot of sibilance. Like, it, it's, it's, too, it's too, too much treble. So which one you want to hear first, man? Uh, <laughs> let's do the Sony. Let's do the Sony first. Let's do the Sony. All right. Now, this Sony thumps. So, this is what we're going to do. All right. You know what? Yeah. It's, I, think it's, I think the Sony's going to rattle this table. That's how deep that Sony hits. And I don't want it to interfere with anything, but I'm just leave, I'm going to leave it there. All right. The Sony's hooked up. Which one you want to hear it compared to? Uh, let's compare it to the clip. The clip. All right. So, I'll turn on the clip. All right. So, this is what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to let Wilson hear him right now in real time. And then once we get all that done, I'm going to go ahead and just hook up the mics and let you hear it without any interference. And you can tell me what you like more. But for right now, I need Wilson's opinion real quick. You want to do that same song? Sure. The house song? The house music. All right. Let's do that. Which one are we on right now? You want to hear Sony first, right? Let's hear Sony first. All right. We're going to hear both of them at about 60% volume first. Get this one going. Yeah, it's about 60. All right, so here we go. This is the Sony. Let that beat drop before I change it. You hear it? Got some low end. Dude, I feel it in the stool. Put your foot on the stool. You feel that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's on the stool. This thing is thumping, dude. All right, we go to the clip. Hold on. All right, here goes the clip. Put your foot on the stool. Still feel it? Nope. All right, it's not there. Yeah. All right. Now, I must disclose that these do have an EQ. The Sony does not have an EQ. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you. <clears throat> with Sony, you can only con connect these stereo with another exact speaker, right? Only stereo. With the JBL speakers, you can connect them to like all your other JBL speakers. Does that matter for you? Uh, I haven't really I haven't, like really thought about that. You don't care? No. Okay, I'm cool. I just needed to tell you. No, I haven't really <clears throat> thought of it that way. But also, these are you, these have EQ presets. The JBL sound signature is the best one. And uh, you got a five band EQ, but it ain't gonna sound no better than what you're getting with the JBL uh, sound. So let me just go ahead and play them again. And uh, I'm gonna turn them up all the way. That way you can hear it. This is the clip. Turn it up all the way. That's the Sony. Here's the JBL. What you okay? Which one you? Think? I see your face. Yeah. <laughs> which one that you like? That clip is still piercing. My it, ears. it hurts. It does. <laughs> it hurts. At at medium volume, like 50, 60 percent, it sounds great, right? Yeah. Uh, it is a little high on the treble. Um, but yeah, once you crank it up to the 80 and 100 percent range, it just gets a little unbearable. Unless you know, like if you're out like at a park or something and kind of doing something, you know, where you're not really paying attention or even this close to it, it's probably not that bad, right? I think so. But when you're comparing, yeah, yeah. All right, so which one do you pick for the people? Uh, for the people? No, for, or for me. You need to let the people know which one you pick. All right, let's see. Uh, I still don't like the piercing feeling of the clip. I have to go for the Sony on this one. Going with Sony. All yeah. right. Clip is out. Clip is out. Oh, round one and JBL goes down. Down. Okay. Now, round two. 
We got Sony versus JBL Go. All right. Well, we got to do up firing. All right. So we got that JBL Go hooked up. Which one you want to hear first? Uh, let's start with the Go this time. Gonna start with the Go. You want full or half volume? Uh, let's do full. Let's just go for it. Full, full, full throttle. All right, <clears throat> bro. Here we go. This is the clip, or this is the uh, the Go. Let's start that song. Bro. It's the Go. <laughs> that beat, bro. You dig it? It's, it sounds good. It does sound good. Okay, going to Sony. It's still beating up that stool, though. All right, let's go back to JBL. No stool. Bruh, I don't want to say nothing just yet. What do you think? I don't know. The low end on the Sony is kind of nice for it being such a tiny speaker. Okay. Uh, I think I have to go with Sony. You gonna go with Sony? I think so because. Let me hear it one more time, man. Because I, I just caught something. Hold up. That's a Sony. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm going with Sony on this one. <laughs> I'm going to, and here's why that low end, like you get that extra thump, XB, extra bass 100. That's what this thing is called. It sounds fuller too. Next, to, see, this, this is the problem with comparison stuff or comparing things, man. Both of these, all three of these sound great standing by themselves. When you compare these to each other, you want to pick one, right? And you start picking, nitpicking them apart. And then when you bring in the other brand, you start nitpicking it for even more stuff, right? They all sound good individually. Would you agree? Or no, you just so. don't like this one? I, I personally don't like the clip. I don't like the way it sounds. <laughs> you a JBL clip hater. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, <laughs> if I'm all being right. honest. Okay, cool. I think it sounds great. You just can't turn it up. Or maybe that's when the EQ does come into play because, you know, you got to subdue those highs a little bit. But uh, as far as, like, something I could listen to long term, like for, like, an hour, all day. Definitely. It's got full sound. It's got bass, and the, the highs don't pierce my ears. There's yeah. So, Sony overall. Sony overall. Sony is whooping that ass again. Oh man. <laughs> oh dang man. I just I thought that JBL at least the clip was gonna actually win at some point because the first time I heard it. But yeah man. But hey guys, we gotta let y'all decide now. Wilson, look, he picked this. He picked this one. Okay. This you JBL fans out there, don't be mad at me. Wilson picked it. I picked it too, but be mad at Wilson though. Now it's you guys turn to decide. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that footage and then you can let me know what you think when we get back. guys you just heard it for yourself so which one would you pick uh based off sound what if sound is not the important thing what if you need the battery life or the functionality you just have to be the judge so let me know in the comments what you think about that but the most important question here is like should i actually give wilson a raise i'm actually kind of thinking about it and maybe i should oh wilson come on man <laughs> 